All right, so we're back with another Fallout 76 weapon review, and we are looking at this very nice um, weapon that they decided to give out as reward in survival mode. The Guarantee, a fat man. However, the challenge to get this is very annoying. And I would say the hardest one yet. Well, second hardest, because Crushing Blow, which I did not get the first one, it's it was glitched, and it just didn't work for me. So yeah, we're looking at the guarantee. A fat man. A Merv fat man in particular. It says no mods, it's glitched, it has the Merv thing on it. Yeah, so the guarantee has um, kind of <laughs> pretty interesting effects on it. It has 50% more limb damage. Which is kind of interesting in its own right, that why that would be on a fat man. Double damage if the target is at full health. Which is, um, pretty insane on a fat man, if you think about it. And then 15% better reload, which is not bad. Actually, that's really good. This thing is, for a fat man, this thing is really good. Only problem is it weighs 24 pounds, which is insanely high. So, that's why I'm in power armor, because we're comparing, we're going to compare it to the other named legendary unique Fat man in the game. The daisy cutter. Please don't freeze. And oh, stack card didn't load. But yeah, the daisy cutter, which only has one effect on it, which is 90% reduced weight. Well, I will say, I am not built to use a fat man. However, do you really have to have a build to use a fat man? Especially one with inst basically an instigating effect on it? No, it's, it's doing, what, how much damage? Where is it? The guarantee... 165, that's for, that's per Merv, I believe. And I, I don't know how many Mervs it launches. How many Mervs does it launch? Six? I think there's six explosions in there. So, yeah. I don't really know what we should test this on or not test it on. I mean, it's going to be killing nearly everything, and I am overcumbered even in this power armor. Uh, let's see, what can I do? Oh, that's why I have junk on me. Alright, hold on. Another problem is my stash is full. There we go. Alright. Let's just hit some high level things with a Merv. That does double damage. Um, I would go in here, but I'm not using this thing inside. I can hit the gulpers. Yeah, I'll kill the, we'll just hit the gulpers with mini nukes, see if that works. Hopefully we can get their attention. I think it killed the gulper, and it also killed me. I think it broke my power armor leg. Did it? Yes, it did. Now I am super overcumbered. Yeah, 100 pounds overcumbered. That's fine. hit the ground with this? Let's try to estimate. See that reload? Wow, that explosion's big. That is, uh, huh. I'm not sure how far away you're supposed to use this thing. Now oh, the other Leg's broken. That's fine. I can fix it. I have enough. Huh? Okay. 
Okay, how far? Back up, please. Back up more. Back up as far as backup can go. Ow, that explosion is far. I wonder if that instigating effect is working on me, because I'm at full health. What else can we hit with this thing? How far do you have to be? This far? Oh, got to reload. Back up. Huh, that didn't hit him. Oh, one complaint I have of the, um, Fat Man is that it no longer puts radiation on the ground. Which is a big problem, in my opinion. As that was, you know, kind of a bonus effect of the giant explosion. Go! Alright, the explosions need fixed, because that gulper should be dead. Is there anything else around here we can hit? Cool. Oh wait, aren't you not supposed to launch the Merv at, <coughs> at a super low angle? Yeah, because they... that was weird. Batman's are weird in this game. The explosions don't seem to, like, work right. I mean... Okay, hopefully it doesn't freeze when we look at it. But... It's called the Guarantee, so I'm guessing they want this for PvP. Right? The problem I have is... Even though this is probably going to kill the person outright, no matter what. Most people in PvP who are serious about PvP are probably using bloody builds. Meaning they're not going to be at full health. So, I'm not sure about this thing. I mean, it's really powerful. Like, stupidly powerful. As you can see, you know, how far am I from the blast? I mean, I'm still dying. Broke my power armor. Anything else around here we can kill? Hmm. I'm not sure if this thing would be better as a Merv or as a standard Fat Man. Because the Merv, I believe, is it, I believe is glitched. Like whenever you look down, the uh, all of them, like you're not at the right angle, they all just fall at your feet. There's something I can hit. That's pretty powerful. He's not at full health, though, so... I win. I do any damage? I think I hit it. dead. I mean, like I said, don't really know what to tell you. It's a fat man that's even more powerful than a regular fat man. Can't use it in vats. Wait. 
you, you, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it. It's a really good fat man. Stat card load. If the stat cards would load. There we go. Now, I would put the, uh, fat, the fat man paint on it that they have. However, that's a thousand, um, atoms. A thousand atoms is how much I paid for this, this power armor skin. This. This beautiful skin that they added. Atom shop, right? Look, it's a thousand. It's the same price. Why would I pay a, a thousand atoms for that when I could pay a thousand atoms for a power armor skin? It, that one, that power armor skin is less than the skin for this. Why would you ever buy that? Like, if it was a skin that went on multiple weapons and not just, like, the Fat Man, cause, then yeah, it'd be more useful. But the Fat Man is an entirely, like, niche weapon, you know? Like, it's not one that you're bringing to every fight, so you're not going to use that skin all that much. That's just my opinion. How much am I overcumbered? Not that much. Let's use some more, uh, mini nukes, because they've been taking up my, um, my stash box. Like, all those mini nukes that you saw were in the stash box. There's something that is challenging. We did... Come on, give me something. I mean, I guess the Hermit Crab would take three hits. I'm guessing instigating it would probably take him only two. If the explosions worked right and it actually put radiation damage on the ground. Like, if, this, if you're watching this, please, please give the Fat Man back its radiation damage. Is that a dead Mirelurk? That's a rock. There's honey. Honey's really good when you overcome break because you can just put back your action points. There's another hermit crab. There, there's a good test. And he's at full health. Hopefully we can hit him correctly. We don't run out of action points again. Glowing Hermit Crab, level 61. Is there two? Oh no, that's a, like a tree that's not loaded right. Oh wait, no, that's not gonna work, is it? Let's see, 165. That high voltage chat page is, is not affected. Dang, I do not have enough action points to really use this thing. Ho oh, oh. ho! That will almost one one shot it. If I had demolitions expert. Wow, this thing is powerful. If you had Demolitions Expert, you, I think you could have one-shotted that. Th this thing is insanely powerful. So yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. I don't think we're going to get better than almost one-shotting a Hermit Crab. Alright, well, bye.